It's Christmas in July. With the Christmas Craft Fair Massacre. Hmm. Did you ever been to a craft fair, Tom? Uh, yeah, you know, I've done shows in Houston. (laughs) All right. (laughs) Hey, have you ever been to a craft fair, Joe? I have. I've been. Yeah. Oh, look, you made uh, earrings out of bottle caps and just stuck a picture in there in the boxy. That's cool. Yarn. You're sweet. And you're selling that. Okay. (laughs) Gotcha. So, uh, fuck, man. This movie's pretty great. <laughs> Have you ever seen uh, The Abomination? Yes. Have you ever seen uh, Replicator? I've not seen Replicator. Have you heard of it? No. Okay. Well, Abomination's all right. It's a pretty, pretty decent, low-budget monster movie. So this one was made 40 years later or so by the same guy who made The Abomination. And Replicator? Yes. So this was the first movie he's uh, made or worked on. And I think the special feature said uh, 12 or 20 years ago. Or in 12 or 20 years. In the behind the scenes thing. He's uh, talking about, yeah, the folks from Wild Eye came down and shot all this uh, bonus stuff for the uh, new Blu-ray release of Abomination. So when they were here, I met this gentleman named Mark Polonia, and he and I got to talking. And, you know, I thought I did well with my measly little 20-some movies, And he's over here making some 80-some movies, telling me how he shot it for nothing on a camera. So I took my cell phone and shot a movie. And would you know, the theater to premiere it cost more than the whole movie combined. (laughs) So Christmas Craft Fair Massacre, Joe, is about a... uh, it was shot on a Nokia uh, three. I, it, we'll we'll get to. <laughs> well, I mean, I can I can do it now. When I was watching this movie, for like the first twenty ish minutes, I was just like, "Is this shit made by middle schoolers? <laughs> Maybe early high schoolers at the latest." I mean, like, good for them. They're fucking, you know, it's put together, and it's kind of a movie. Yeah, I mean, good for these kids. (laughs) And then I started... Bebe's kids. I was just like, hey, Tom, you know, this is taking place in a high school and shit, but... There's no kids in this fucking movie. <laughs> the youngest people in this movie are like in their mid 30s, and everybody else is some would consider elderly. And the main character is this old man, probably in, I mean, 70s would probably be fair. And he's like an old hippie. And they angle the camera so you can't tell that he's reading all of his lines off. And keep in mind, he's the lead character, so he's in the movie a lot. But, you know, you can just look at his eyes and you see him darting back and forth. And then you realize how he's delivering the lines. Like, oh, yeah, he's totally... Totally just reading the lines off a board. And then I finish this movie and it turns out, hey, Joe, that's the guy who made the movie. (laughs) He wasn't just a hired actor. (laughs) One of the director's friends. It was the director, Joe. (sighs) Oh. I wasn't even drunk. 
<laughs> and I laughed and laughed and laughed. I had a great time with this, Joe. I had an, I, as you would say, muy excelente. <laughs> I highly, highly recommend everybody picking up a DVD copy of the Christmas Craft Fair Massacre. And Tim making Gross, it. who watches all the massacre movies, if you're listening, there's another one to put on your list right there at Wild Eye. Uh, but everybody, make this part of your uh, Christmas viewing tradition because I, I'm going to, and I'm going to watch it pretty drunk next <laughs> time. <laughs> oh, it is. It's something. It involves a fucking. Uh, a satanic cult and a killer in a bucket head mask and the killer in the bucket head mask is also the director. So he's playing dual roles. And one of the people in the movie, the youngest person in the movie, this balding 36 year old, he's just smiling like this the whole time with just that pedophile mustache that people <laughs> think that they should start wearing again and he's just delivering his lines and he just oh yeah babe i'll wait for you out here and that's how he delivers every single one of his lines oh fuck the realization i had when i fuck i'm just like i don't think this is made by children thomas would would highly Highly recommend. Whew. It's good stuff, Joe. Hot stuff. 